Now today when I did this, I knew I did it. And uh, first thing I noticed was the battery getting puffy. And basically they'll still work and operate just fine if they do get puffy like this. But what it does, I believe, is it just lessens the life of the battery. And you do lose some C rating too. This is a high C rated battery. This is a 45 C uh, C battery. So that's a high discharge battery. Most of you guys out there are running like 20, 25 C, which is 90% of what everyone has out there. Um, I sell the tons out of those. Uh, and that is the most battery, popular battery I sell is the 2200 3-cell 20C battery. Zippy or Turnergy. Uh, I sell them for like $19.99. A couple bucks for shipping. This is my first ever YouTube video, so please excuse it, but it's going to be raw footage. I have not learned how to edit yet. I'm a little bit behind on this, just like I was on learning LiPo batteries. But once I got into the LiPo batteries, I got into it. And doing it now for over 15 years. Uh, I believe I'm pretty damn good with them. If you ever have any problems or questions, uh, feel free to uh, give us a call and uh, give me a call directly and talk to me. Be happy to hear from you. So, we we're only into this for a couple minutes now, and this battery is now at uh, 374 on the low voltage bat uh, cell. So I'm going to go ahead and discharge it, or excuse me, dis, uh, take it off the, uh, the jump and uh, go ahead and plug it in. Now you'll notice that your other battery will not come down in voltage at all. You don't need but it to be a good battery. And that one's still a 11.5 uh, total voltage. What I do with my batteries is after I charge them, I put a rubber band around them to where I know that I charged them. You need to have something to know if you, you know, because you'll end up with a lot of these batteries. Uh, I know I have over 30 of them in my, how, how do I say, my uh, collection at the moment that I'm using. And once I realize I'm not using a certain size or a certain set of batteries, I try to give them away or sell them or just get rid of them one way or the other because uh, they will just go bad on you. If you're not using them, uh, I learned that uh, putting them in storage mode is a must if you're not going to use them for a while. Storage mode is basically the voltage that you get them at, which is right around 3.8 to 3.9 volts per cell. Uh, most chargers now have what is called a storage mode where you can just hit a button and put it back into storage mode after a certain period of time. And I'm starting to do that. And uh, basically what happened to me was I was uh, did not fly for about a year. Now, that's not too uncommon for guys like us. We tend to get in and get out of things. And uh, so I got out of it for a year and uh, just took a break for whatever reason. And went back to it a year later and realized that a lot of my batteries seemed to be fine. They charged up and everything, but they had no power. They lost their C rating like gasoline loses its nitro, basically. And uh, so a lot of my batteries uh, seemed fine, but they had zero power. And so I ended up having to trash a lot of them. And then the ones that were fully charged, those were toast. Um, uh, totally gone. Uh, could not even use them for nothing. So I ended up giving away a lot of batteries there. And I throw I threw away a lot of batteries too, uh, because they were basically just no good. So uh, if you're not going to use your batteries for a while, put them into a storage mode, drain them down one way or the other, uh, somewhere around where you got them, three eight uh, to three nine per cell, and uh, that way it'll keep them uh, new for you. Lipo batteries have come a long ways in technology, and they're still unstable and unpredictable but yet the power and the time that we get out of them far surpasses uh, anything to complain about there and the prices have come way way down i remember when we used to buy a 2200 three cell for over 70 80 bucks uh wholesale and selling wise would be like 150 170 dollars uh crazy and uh uh, 
Um, this used to be, you know, basically for the extreme person that could afford endless amounts of, had endless amounts of money for their toys, uh, which most of us, of course, these days do not. But uh, they've come a long ways and made it very, very reasonable now. Uh, um, there's a lot to say about LiPo batteries and a lot to say about certain companies. But basically, uh, most of the time you get what you pay for. There's a couple companies I don't like, uh, a couple brands I don't like. Uh, for But for the most part, I'd say you get what you pay for. Uh, some of the uh, better companies out there, in my opinion, are Great Plains, uh, of course, Horizons, uh, Park Zone, uh, E Flight, of course, Hobby Zone, uh, Turingy, Zippy, Rhinos. Um, and then there's a lot of them um, out there that basically lie about their C rating. And the C rating is a very, very complex thing that I still have uh, not gotten my grip on. Uh, but uh, maybe here down the road I can make a video and try to uh, help out with that. But for right now, I'd have to say I'm still lost on the C rating thing. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to check the C rating on a battery. Uh, it's a complex mathematical thing that uh, I haven't gotten a handle on yet. But basically, uh, there's a lot of companies out there that lie about their C rating, which um, is sad but true. They'll say it's a 40C when it's not. I've uh, seen some big names out there that uh, basically got the battery and it had zero power compared to you know just a 20, 20C Zippy battery that I was running in it. Uh, and there's a lot of companies out there that uh, seem to um, downplay their C rating where you're buying a 20C battery and it's a damn good battery. It's like a 40C in other brands. And uh, how I judge that is basically power and speed because that's what I'm mostly into is power and speed. Although now I've gotten into quadcopters pretty heavy. Uh, but uh, I like flying fast airplanes, and so uh, my discharge rate uh, batteries, um, I need higher C ratings, or I need C ratings that are true. And a, a good 20C battery, though, will fly pretty much about everything. I've got airplanes that go 200 miles an hour that I put a 20C battery in. Just a three cell 2200 battery in it and uh, hit incredible speeds. Uh, I'm flying a line of planes right now made by, uh, they're called, uh, uh, I think they're called uh, Park Fighters by Hobby King. And uh, these guys will do uh, uh, 90 miles an hour out of the box with a three cell. Uh, 1,000 milliamp, or go to a 4-cell, and you'll do 125 miles an hour out of the box. Just incredible speeds uh, for out of the box. And tone it down on your trims, and you can fly that sucker very smoothly, very, very nicely. Um, I think the best one out there is called the, um, um, oh, good Lord, what's it called? It's called the, I forget what it's called. But anyway, I'll get into that later on. Anyway, let's go ahead and unplug these and see what the charger says. Okay, I'm putting it on the charger right now. I'm using a charger that just charges off the balancing plug. I'll be lucky if it says three cells or three volts and it won't charge unless it is three volts it says 3.6 volts so I'm going to charge it at just one amp just gear back up I'm still leery of this battery because it puffs so big but basically if you can see my charger there I like a charger that tells you the voltage on every cell 
this one I just just pins plugged right into the balancing plug. This is an old common sense charger, one of the best ones out there, I think. Uh, if I could find these, I'd buy them. They used to sell for about $109 uh, when we sold them. Common sense, by the way, is a good source for info. Uh, CommonSenseRC.com has awesome info on lipo batteries. If you're new into it, I recommend you go to their site and read up because they will give you the info that you need to uh, prepare you for what you're about to get into. Anyway, there you go. That's how to save a LiPo battery. This other battery, which is the one that we used to jump it with, is still reading really good. Uh, total voltage is at 11.5 volts. Have a great day.